Chantel. It's Confession Wednesday. Yes, it is. I already confessed this morning that there is a mouse in my house. Yeah. They, I, I saw it scurry <laughs> across the floor. It's yeah. a whole thing. I've called Prime Pest Control. Yeah. That's my pest people. Hopefully they can get out today. I'm hoping there's only one mouse, but I'm thinking there might be a colony. Oh, do you think there's more than one? Well, I've now seen a mouse in two different locations. Interesting. This is what you do, because I know you're not a great cook. No. You catch the uh, the mouse. Mm-hmm. You put it on top of your head, and you put a little chef's cap over it, ratatouille style. Ah. And all of a sudden, you will be cooking the most amazing dishes mm. ever. All I know is I told my nanny, I said, Boone really loves ratatouille. No. Oh. To build a mouse trap. Oh. So okay. I have some arts and crafts supplies. If you would like to get them ready for the boys when they wake up, All right. they. Like core memory yeah. from the last time we had a mouse in our house. You built. We built mouse traps. Yeah. So I'm, ho- you know, we yeah. try to make the most of a terrible situation. But anyway, it's Confession Wednesday. If you'd like to confess something, tell us what uh, what's on your mind. D- uh, remain anonymous. Don't yes, tell course. us if you broke the law, and we're not gonna we're not gonna judge you. Like, don't judge me for having a mouse in my house. My house is clean. My garage door just doesn't latch. Okay. So uh, the way it works, when you text us at 844-649-1051, they just come up as little thought bubbles, and that's how that works. And then we'll just read them. This text says, confession. I went to school for four years to get my nursing degree. I graduated. I'm now a nurse. But I'm regretting my career choice now that I'm in the field, and I hate it. That happens so much with those long college, like, professions. It's a fear of mine. It's a fair, like, you spend yeah. so much money and so much time in school to then go, wait a minute, this isn't great. I think you have to remember, just like any job, not every day is going to be your favorite. Not every client is going to be your favorite. Not every patient. You know, I said that yesterday. In fact, kind of like a confession Wednesday for you. Yesterday, I went and spoke at uh, Liam's Middle School for College and Career Day. Oh, yes, and how'd that go? And I was telling you how stressed I was about the situation, and uh, I didn't know really how to tie in academics to what we do. Right. First of all, we had so many nice text messages from teachers and academic advisors saying, hey, here's different ways to tie radio in. Yeah. So I really appreciate that. I was here, my confession is I was really nervous to talk to these middle school kids. I went back into a place. Really? Like I did mm. walking through the halls. I, I felt all this weird anxiety that I haven't felt for years. Like if I had walked through the halls of a middle school, yeah. I would have been like, "Yep, this is my place. This is your place." These are my no. people. I, I walked back into my prime. I I didn't feel that way. I felt and then then like getting up to talk to them. I was. I was nervous, which I don't usually get nervous talking to people. Yeah, but you're shaping America's future. I was also nervous because when I got there, the the uh, the, they said to me, "Hey, do you have your PowerPoint presentation?" (laughs) And I said, "I'm sorry, I didn't know there that was part of what we were doing today." And they went, "Well, all the other parents brought PowerPoints." As if that was just an unspoken thing we were supposed to do. I am not in the business world. Wow. I do not know such things. John texted me, (laughs) and he goes, Chantel, I was supposed to have a PowerPoint. I was so embarrassed. (laughs) I brought mixed footballs. (laughs) Did you toss them out? I tossed them out. The kids loved it. Let me tell you right now. You put on the show. I brought it. That's right. I brought it. You get it. But I did tell them. Bringing it back around to the confession, uh, what we got, I said, yeah, I do have a really fun job. But not the whole job is fun. There's highs and lows to it. Yeah, like every job. Like every job. And that was my point to them was like, listen, you're going to have parts of your job you like and parts of the job you don't like. The important thing is to just find those moments that you love and be like, this is why I do that job. Yep. We say that all the time. It'll be like, this is why we do it. Yeah. Not because we have to wake up at five in the morning. You wake up at five. I hate you. 4.30. I hate you so much. What time do we wake up? I don't know what time we wake up. My alarm (laughs) starts going off at 4.30. This says, uh, oh, this is Confession Wednesday, but it almost comes off from the topic we had earlier. Sometimes I text my girlfriend that I'm going to bed, but really, I'm just over-talking. Okay, but we've all done that, right? Haven't we? This text says, I have been leaving bad reviews at a restaurant where I used to work. Like, are you getting different, like, Google accounts, and then you're writing in there? And uh, How does that? I don't know. Can I just tell you, and this isn't judgment, but I worry about karma, like, Mm -hmm. on those kind of Mm -hmm. things. Like, I don't know. I'm an office manager, and I recently switched our coffee to something cheaper. We now have coffee snobs who haven't even noticed. Oh, I see. So it's like, how big of a snob are you? 
Yeah, you didn't even notice. This is I switched. Folgers. <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> I switched from Starbucks brand to Folgers. My husband has betrayal trauma. And even though he is getting better, my anxiety has gotten to a traumatic point. As I worry for the next time, he's going to have an episode. I've never even looked at another guy with interest since I met him. Okay, so he's with you. You've never looked at someone, but he keeps thinking that you're cheating or you're doing something like that. That is a hard place to be, and it's not. It it can end up not being a healthy place for you to be. Yeah, tell me about it. Try dating after an affair. Uh huh. So you're you're kind of like with the husband, like how he. No, I get it. I totally get get it. it. You understand it. It's wild. That's why you have to Facetime to fall asleep at night. You got to work through it. Let's talk about it and move on. (laughs) I'm just kidding. With the trauma. Oh, no. It is so true, though. Like, sometimes it just sneaks back up yeah. and you're like, yeah. you know, yeah. I've had this happen to me before. And as the partner, you have to be understanding. But then also as the person that it happens to, like me, I was cheated on. Yeah. I have to do the work yeah. to to not just suppress it, but like no. heal from it. Yeah. 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 It's a good luck to you. Going through a divorce. And yes, I'm bummed. But I'm also excited to be with other people. Mm. I have only been with my ex. Man, I feel like same, same. So it's just like, it's really sad to get divorced. You don't want it. Yeah. uh, Depending on the way that your marriage fell apart. But like, there is also the little silver lining of like, oh, I get a do over and I'm older and wiser now. I've been through it. Yeah. I know what to look for. I get that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's okay to be it's okay to be excited because you have no other choice but to move forward. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 100 I think you there's nothing wrong with saying like, okay, this part's ending, but I'm excited to see where I'm going to grow and what my new adventure is going to be. Yeah. And YOLO. Live your and life. And maybe that's just hooking up with a lot of people. And if so, you go, Glenn Coco. You know you, what I'm saying? You do it. All right.